Hello everybody and welcome to our discussion video on Sonic Forces, the recent reveals that happened so far in terms of the game. Slightly delayed. It's not a delay. Well, Dwebs, actually, it kind of helps because yeah, it allowed us okay. it allowed us to basically, you know, allow things to settle in and, sh and collect our thoughts and stuff. So it will be and a very... And besides, Dwebs, you can't necessarily delay one of these, per se. It's, it's probably like, really... like the, mil the millionth video on this subject. It's anyway, I'm writing up an yeah. island of commentary groups keep delaying stuff. Anyway, uh, go on, Benjamin. All right, everybody. We're going to basically go from basically four different topics, gameplay in general, the, the writing and who's writing it. Uh, the co uh, the highlight, of course, will be the character, co the creation thingy. And, of course, we'll end with an overall final thoughts, overall thoughts kind of thing. So, so without further ado, Dwibs, though, would like to give his overall bundle package of thoughts. Dwibs, go right ahead. Yes, because I'm a cheater. Anyway, um, overall, from what I've seen so far, it actually doesn't look all that bad. I mean, it looks fun enough. I'm really interested in seeing how the OC stuff is implemented, and from what I could tell from the trailer, they at least I'm I'm actually glad at least that Sonic Team actually bothered to put in the effort to make it quite customizable. It's certainly more customizable than say like Zero did it. Like that's hard. <laughs> um, the graphics look nice well, from what little we've seen so far, and. Um, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not. I mean, I'm not. I'm not overly hyped for the game, but I can't say I'm dreading it either. I'm cautiously optimistic. Oh, and also, by the way, when I get the game, I'm a bit. I'm. 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 Um. Cont I'm split on whether I want to name it either a zoo, or um. A <laughs> zoo. Or call it. Or call it. Or just. Or just. Or just be boring and call it Dwebs the dog. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, or you can I'll, name I'll, Azul I'll, Dwibs. All right, is that yeah. it? I'll, I'll 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 call it I'll call it Jova the Bunny or something. I don't know. Okay. okay. It, could, it could it could it could it could be anything. It could be anything. That, that's the beauty of OCs. All right. They'll, 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 yeah. they'll, 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 they'll all be on Deviant Art within like an hour of the game coming out. Okay, uh, that, that's me done. I'll see you guys in about an hour. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let the merriment begin. All right. First topic, gameplay. The overall gameplay in general. Um, okay, Jova is going to be instead he wanted to be last. So, Shira, why don't you begin? Well, what do you think of uh, the overall level design that we've seen? Do you think the gameplay looks fun? The classic yeah, modern it, and yeah, buddy gameplay. Fun and... I mean, even the Wisp stuff looks fun. Because I'm not the biggest fan of the Wisp gameplay, probably mostly because I never really got used to it. But um, they seem to um, have implemented it in a way that it doesn't halt you, because one of the biggest problems I had with them is that it's a constant stop and start, but things seem to flow really well here. We haven't uh, seen much of the gameplay itself, but the game, like appearance-wise, looks really good. And uh, I probably won't be able to say much more on it until a demo comes out. Well, it's funny you brought that up, Shiroi, because that actually is a new gameplay detail we did learn. The Wisp on where yeah. Wisps can be used to power up different weapons and whatnot. Making stuff like flamethrowers, uh, attractive magnets and stuff. I said the, the grappling hooks too, which is which seems really fun. Apparently the Wisps are going to be more... The is the default. Okay, wait, can I, can I just say this? When Boom, you Sonic. Do you what? honestly believe that it was supposed to be Boom Sonic? Uh, hook. Eh, whatever, sure. I don't really care either. It's, it's not impossible, but it's uh, whatever. It doesn't. It, it didn't happen anyway, so it's pointless to discuss it, honestly, if you ask me. It, it just feels like this wouldn't be out of place with a Boom game. No, I it wouldn't. It wouldn't, I... but um, whatever. It, it didn't happen. Yeah. The yeah. Alright, so, yeah, um... Like what Shiroi said, of course, and uh, uh, it's interesting you say that, Shiroi, because uh, apparently from what we've seen, it, uh, it seems like the Wisps are going to work a bit differently than previous games, and they're going to be more like Super Mario World type power-ups, where they're more like an extension of Sonic's abilities rather than the, 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 the stop and now you have to fly kind of stuff that we've seen in the previous games. So that's actually a big improvement, so I'll, I'm looking forward to that at least. Well, I might, might as well... Um, segue into my thoughts in general about the gameplay. 
like I said, I, I like the fact that the Wisps now are more like an extension of Sonic's abilities. I agree with Johnny when, uh, when it comes to that, that uh, power-ups should be more like an extension of the character's abilities rather than just, you know, suddenly you're a Green Wisp flying and... Uh, mm. uh, okay. But, well, well done, Sonic team. You're learning in that regard. So yeah, there you go. See, I'm not, I'm not entirely negative on the whole thing. See, everybody? Anyway, the point is... Um, <laughs> Don't uh, worry, guys. It won't last long. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's right. He no, I can I can fault him for saying that because he's right. <coughs> we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Well, we can't all be positive. Anyway, the point is. Um, uh, yeah, heck yeah. All right, the point is uh, level design. Uh, okay, obviously we haven't seen much, like Shiroi said. So obviously, for all I know, they could be hiding the great level design akin to Sonic Generations from us. So okay, fine. But of course, I'm. But we've seen uh, a, like a total of like what three minutes of level design footage when you combine ev all all, all the, the gameplay footage we've seen so far. Plus, uh, it's, all, it's all been we've only the seen same two level levels as well. As well. Oh, yeah, two yeah. Levels? Okay, okay, but the po the point is we've oh, seen yeah, Green Hill. Yeah. the point is in terms of Green gameplay Hill and Park Avenue. The point is gameplay footage we've seen like a total like three minutes of footage combined, and from what I'm seeing so far, the level design doesn't look that impressive. It looks like like um, uh, Park Avenue looks like a straight line, and well, Act One of Green Hill Zone with Classic Sonic is if you, if you, if if I'm gonna be uh, honest, a fucking joke. Um, so obviously not the good, not a good first impression for I me. Like it's rough. <laughs> apparently, there's a reason Green Hill looks the way it does. No, 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 no. It's a, uh, no. Yeah, there apparently is actually a story reason from what they've told. I'll wait to see more on that later. Sort of similar to Sonic Mania, apparently giving reasons for why we're revisiting old levels. No, 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 no. that's not my problem. Not, okay, I, I don't like the fact that we're in Green zone, Hill Zone, but that's not the point of this discussion. Uh, it, my problem is not with the Green Hill Zone. Well, I have a problem with Green Zone, but it's not what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the sand. I don't. I don't have a problem with the You're sand being there. The looks of it. I'm talking about the level design itself. The way the level is designed. Oh. Okay. Oh! Like I said, the level design for Green Hill Act 1 with Classic Sonic is a fucking joke. Uh, the, 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 the act pretty much plays itself. There's way too many springs and boost pads. It's uh, like, yeah, so music so is awesome. Which makes no yeah, sense. This is my... I'm fine with the music, but that's another That's another topic. Uh, I don't understand. This is supposedly the same people. Granted, it's the same director from Lost World in Colors, not... Miyamoto, who directed Generations. I wonder where he is by this point, but by the way. He hasn't, he hasn't done anything since directing Sonic Generations, but whatever. The point is, this is supposedly the same team that made Sonic Unleashed and Sonic Generations. So you'd think the level design would be, at the very least, as good as Generations. I mean, Grant, yes, don't get me wrong. Classic Sonic's Green Hill wasn't brilliant by any means, but it was a hell of a lot more interesting than whatever the hell that was. So, like I said, gameplay, it can still be great, but not a good first impression for me. Go ahead, uh, Deji, what do you think of the gameplay in general? Oh, boy. Um, does Classic Sonic really need to be here? Uh, we're not That's... We're not discussing that. We'll save that for an overall thoughts, please. Oh, no, because it does stem with the gameplay. Since we already have... It's been confirmed that Modern has 2D sections, and we see that the new gameplay style has 2D, so it's just like, what's the point? Oh, yeah, that I agree with, yes. Mm -hmm. it, ju it just feels repetitive, in a way. Agreed. But they did say that there's going to be a twist with classic, so I want to. S I maybe it's just too early for me to see it. Well, I made or, that joke you know, on, a long time ago. I'm hoping they're going to, considering the premise, I hope that they pull a fake out and just burn Green Hill to the ground. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. When they said twist, do you mean story wise or gameplay wise? Gameplay wise. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see, I guess. All right, Deji, carry on, yeah. please. Be free. Probably, yeah. Carry on, Deji, please. Uh, the modern, it's it was short, but I think we can assume it's going to be like more <laughs> close to colors than anything else because the white Same director. Lists, yeah, and the white lists are going to be your boost instead of the rings, so that means it'll be more platform heavy, most likely, and the new character. Is it just me, or did it look like when they first showed the new the character? 
Did it look like when they first showed it off, his sex, his 3D area was the same exact layout as Modern's? Uh, different, although, are you referring... Not that I noticed. Yeah, I'm going to have to jump like on this one. Like the attack yeah. chain. Well, well, the main difference is that, well, okay, despite it being a layout is it similar to Boost Sonics, it's actually more adventurous, ironically, as in it has more multiple different pathways. His speed isn't exactly as emphasized as the Sonics, and you'll notice that there's actually more so 3D platforming, so it seems like, you know, um, there's that picture with the... The purple cat using a flamethrower. <laughs> Go to hell. Oh. Having different doorways. We'll talk about that later, Shiro. So, I, so I guess <laughs> I just burned some bridges with you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, all right, Beji, um, would you please um, continue your final thoughts? It's... Sorry, final thoughts. Uh, the oh. gameplay thoughts, sorry. It's... It, it, lo it probably looks interesting, but granted the major criticism that Generations had, the game felt unfocused, and it probably would have been better if they stuck with one gameplay style instead of three, which might make it cluttered. Unfortunately, Desi, one thing we have to remember is that one of the detriments of the Boosters gameplay is that they have to make incredibly huge levels for modern Sonic, which I'll means bring that they up... can't strain all the resources, sadly. True, which but I'll bring up, more... but I'll bring up something after about which, that when I get to it. Probably makes you wonder why even continue the boost or go back to a more adventure style. Oh, well, uh, I'll just they'd... sum it up like this. I'll just sum it up like this. They were afraid if, of a six what... backlash. Let me let me put it just edgy. If they just did what Sonic Colors did, they wouldn't have to worry about it. Yeah, uh, I'll go, the, I'll the go more into why color, later. I'll go wow. more into why later. The problem That's with colors is, enough. while good, it was way too much 2D. Aside from that, but again, <coughs> we'll elaborate that on that yeah, in our more wrapping up thought. All right, then. Next. Even as um, even as uh, just quickly, even as somebody who grew up on modern Sonic, I actually preferred controlling a character that fast in 2D. <laughs> All right. Um, do you mean new Sonic or classic? any Sonic? Any okay. Sonic is it, it? I just don't think I. I'm. I you know I play a lot of the 3D games, but I think with how slippery they can be sometimes, I think it's just better to stick to 2D. So basically, sure, what you're saying is 3D Sonic sucks. Bring back 2D. Sonic only works on 2D. <laughs> Next section. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, what am I saying? No, no, I almost actually, forgot um, myself. If um, if. They could find a good way to control Sonic. Sonic in... Utopia, by the way. <clears throat> <laughs> yes, mm, yes, Sonic but, Utopia. That's a has, thing that exists, but and that is good. definitely the popular in. But no, Sorry. if if Sonic Team themselves could find a a perfect way for controlling Sonic in 3D, then I wouldn't be saying this. Well, Jova, uh, before you move on, before you start your final your thoughts, Jova, let's not forget that's meant as a proof of concept more than anything else. I mean, if it, if, if, if imagine that concept with a full-fledged budget and development team. Anyway, uh, go ahead, Jova. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, I gotta say, the best thing that has been shown to me is definitely the 3D gameplay stuff because, uh, okay. Aside from like that one little segment we've seen with a lot of boost pads and stuff, the way that Sonic's gameplay does seem to be very promising. My only issue is that it looks a bit automated, and I'm really hoping that that won't end up being the case with the main thing. Now, classic Sonic's gameplay, that's, that's even more automated. <sighs> okay, classic Sonic is pretty much the same as Generation Sonic, only more automated. That's not a good thing. I don't understand. I mean, Generation's classic gameplay, while not spot on like Mania, still feels right. What oh, happened? Can, can, can I... This might sound a bit nitpicky or repeating what everyone is saying. With Mania, did we really just need to have this again? No, we didn't, but that's a topic for another time. Let, let Jova continue, but, please. Oh, there is one cool thing, though. Classic Sonic has to drop there. Oh, it, oh, forgot to you mention. can save that for later um, on your final thoughts. Wait, Deji. wait. Um, does 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 he? Yeah. Yes, he does. It makes me wonder nice. if class makes me wonder Sonic Mania is sort of added that as a tie-in. Ironically, we'll find out later. Or maybe anyway, they're like since they were co-developing, they were just swapping notes. All right, huh, uh, let's uh, continue, please. 
Go ahead, John. But yeah, the 3D modern gameplay Sonic stuff does actually look rather cool and exciting. And mm -hmm. I'll admit, for all the controversy that we're going to bring up later about the custom characters, <laughs> their game... Deji, please let Deji, Joba continue. Please right. settle down. Sorry. The, the custom characters' gameplay does look very promising, actually. Um, I do like the... <laughs> It looks like a refined Sorry. version of the energy beam from Sonic Boom, only a lot faster. And I do like that there are multiple different pathways back. Now, uh, Obviously. that's... Yeah. And yeah, from what we've seen, uh, it does seem to mesh both the graphics. One, one thing I would hopefully like is if it turns out that this is a merging of some old zones with some more modern zones, which might be the case since we see some of Green Hill in the background of Park Avenue. Yes, we finally know the name of that ruination area. Park Avenue. That's oh, interesting. I didn't notice. I actually didn't notice that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, gameplay for the most part looks a bit of what we've seen before. Um, the 3D modern stuff looks promising. I'm not completely lost on the classic Sonic stuff, but that is not the first, the best first impression. Indeed. So mainly good, but dear lord, find a good use for classic Sonic or don't use them in these games. Thank you. Uh, I, I agree with that. All right, so that was basically the, the overall gameplay. Now let's move on to one of the big elephants in the room. Uh, it's the elephant in the room. <laughs> the writers for this game, well, okay, okay, okay. Believe it or not, this is not completely confirmed. We just have a tweet about this where Warren Graff said, eh, just a game I've been writing. Now, we don't Wait, know. how does how does that mean it's not completely confirmed? Because he doesn't really say what game he's working on. Not only that, but people can kid about Twitter stuff. Like, and uh, you don't even get me started on the people who got all about how, hey, the maker of Gravity Falls is visiting Sega. That clearly means he's working on Sonic Forces. Well, okay. In that case, in that case, I'll allow me to make a little p a previous point. If for some reason, turns out Pontek and Graf are not writing this game. We will um, add a specific annotation for you to skip this entire section of the discussion because it, it will suddenly become irrelevant. But or consider yeah, just consider this our speculation. Yeah, because yeah. the thing yeah, because because, uh, because because honestly, our biggest clue of okay, to be fair, our biggest clue does suggest it. Yeah, but I mean, again, this is speculation. That's what these discussion videos are for. I mean, hey, nobody's perfect, right? Exactly. All right. Uh, so, um, let's all right, since Jova, since it's just, oh, since Jova's last, well, uh, go go ahead, Shira. You start. I know. Um, what was that, Deji? Ah, yes, I Oh, okay. Um, about this, um, if it is true, um, okay. I care. Like, this is a Sonic story we're talking about here. So, even if Pontaf is the one behind it. Look, I've I've never had high hopes for a story in a Sonic game. Anyway, they might have written some of the worst Sonic stories, but still, again, we're talking about a story for a Sonic game here. Uh, but I'm hoping it'll be at least, or oh hell, actually at most, on the same level as Colors. I don't, I don't want another boom, as in Shattered Crystal boom. That's the last thing I want. I'm not going to... Okay, I'm not happy about the possibility that they're back to write another story, but at the same time, I'm not gonna... Cr I'm not gonna cry bullshit until we know for sure. All right, that sounds good enough. All right, that's for me. Okay, L let me just... To, to give uh, not just... Uh, my, to give uh, context to my thoughts on general, so let me just quickly sum it up. Despite Shiro Marukawa, the original writer starting with Sonic Adventure, wrote Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2. Um, okay, can I have a quick question before you continue? Go ahead. Does he still work at Sega? No, I don't Ooh. think so, at yeah. least. Shiro Marukawa, the writer of Sonic Adventure 1, Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic and the Secret Rings, I and Sonic and the Black Knight. He, I think he does, actually, because there was speculation at some point about him possibly writing this game. Well, there's no credits in it. Well, that's the thing, Jova. There hasn't been any credit of him in Sega Retro for years now. So at this point, uh, don't always go off of Sega. Trust me. Well, it's this. the best. Well, it's the only source I've got. <laughs> anyway, like for example, Mariko Namba. Mariko Namba, who composed some beautiful cutscene music for 06, she's sadly not at Sega anymore, and that saddens me because I still think Sonic 06 has the best cutscene music in the entire series. But off topic. Moving on. Uh, yeah. True. 
<laughs> I was gonna say debatable, but yeah, no, no, no. I, 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 I don't mean the best music in. I mean music in the cutscenes. I was gonna say debatable too, but that's another discussion video. Sure, we'll get. We'll talk about that in our 06 playthrough. Anyway, the point is, um, yeah. Uh, so I, uh, despite okay, Shiro Marikawa, my favorite Sonic story is Sonic and the Black Knight, written by him. Uh, it's just it's clearly a case of him to me getting better with time because it was definitely an improvement over the flawed but still well-intentioned stories of the adventure games. The problem with this stories in the adventure games to me is that uh, there's a lot of good intentions there. The problem is uh, the lack of de like Johnny put it very well, the lack of detail and a lot of um, m a lot of moments in the story where characters or even situations will act nonsensical for the sake of moving the plot forward and stuff like that. But again, I'll still take him over uh, other stuff that we've seen, like whoever the hell wrote Sonic Heroes. Um, <laughs> uh, and okay, and like I said, I'm, just, I'm fine, and of course, uh, or even Shizuka Nakamura, since his 06 story was, well, abysmal. Uh, the point is, yeah, I would I would have loved if Shiro Makawa came back, because Black Knight was, in my opinion, the best Sonic story, and it's a shame that his final one was his best, because now that he was not really getting great at it, he left. Uh, at least the Sonic series, at least. I don't know if he's still at Sega. So, so I'm a bit saddened that we can at least get a good uh, source on where he is or what he's doing. But as for Ponte and Graf, yeah. I've, 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 I've enjoyed Color's story fun enough. I like the ending a lot, actually. Uh, and some and there's some really good moments here and there. Uh, it's, mm -hmm. not perf it's not perfect, but it was a nice... For, and that's enough first effort, I thought. My problem is that every single game after that, for every single story that they wrote after Colors went downhill. Like uh, Rule number one, Generations does not count because that was strictly Sega cutting into that thing like a knife. Well, by that logic, Lost World doesn't count too, because Lost World also suffered no. from that. No, 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 no. Lost World is more on pawn tap because they admit that they ran out of time, per se. Generations was literally Sega executive mandating to slice down on the story into ribbons to the point where, yeah, Pontaf never had the chance to really do much of any of the characters. Anyway, okay, okay, fine, whatever. We'll skip Generations again, then. Again, Oh, again, 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 trust me. I will accept any criticism they get about Lost World, Shattered Crystal, and all that stuff, but Generations was not their fault. All right, all right, all right. So fine. It's the one I, time you'll hear me say it's absolutely not their fault. Generations as a whole was I mean, gener Generations' story is so shallow and non-existent that it's not even worth getting mad about anyway, so whatever. Skipping Generations. Lost World's uh, story was, how should I put it, uh, all over the fucking place. And, and the, the it tone... It was a promising story, but it needed scenes to help connect things. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, it's basically the Suicide Squad of the Sonic series. Anyway... Ouch. Anyway, the point is, yeah. It, Lost World was, of course... Uh, not to mention I hate the way Tails is characterized in that game. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Anyway. Uh, I'm glad puberty. <laughs> uh, anyway, shit. and like she always said, earlier, Shared Crystal is where they officially hit rock bottom. That script is completely unsalvageable. There's not a single good line in that script. Name me one line, good line in that game. Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, what I mean is, I'm so sorry that you have nothing better to do in life. <laughs> well, that that's Lost World, though. I'm talking about Shared Crystal. Oh. Yeah, Although, e exactly. Your sign says it all. The point is... Alright, moving on. Go, go ahead, Jerry. Um, You see, Ponta... Aren't, like, aren't actually terrible at coming up with stories, like going on previous stuff, but their characters shouldn't speak. For, for context, they didn't they actually come up with the... They keep their mouths shut. For, for the record, they didn't actually come up with the stories for Colors and Generations. That was the Japanese team that did it. Uh, it, it, it was the Lost World that they started actually coming up with the story from scratch. Because okay. when it comes to colors and generations, they only rewrote the script to be more um, to Americanize it and stuff like that. All right. Um, so yeah, My, I don't like the fact that Pontiac and Graf are basically now that I've gotten to the actual thoughts. 
Pontiac and Graf, don't get me wrong. I, st I get that still Pontiac and Graf still have their undying fans, like Diogenes, who for some reason will, stick, will stand up for them until the end. I don't know why we're seizing in them by this point, but whatever. Um, yeah, because they've had their good, and Lost World, while definitely controversial, has still bouts of good that do show that they have promised. For me, it's Shattered Crystal. That To me, Shattered Crystal was the last straw. After you write something like that, you, you have to leave. I'm sorry. Well, to, to, wait. To, to be fair, that be... wasn't even main Sonic stuff, but yes, Dutch? No, okay. If I could defend them on that, that was a boom as a whole. Uh, yeah. Deji, let's not. I highly disagree. No, that... no, no, because even Rise of Lyrics plot wasn't that good. No, either. no, Deji, to be fair, Rise of Lyrics plot wasn't. That's the thing. The, the, the... Really awful. I mean, yeah, it had some stupid stuff, but for the most part, Rise of Lyrics did get good humor. No, not, not just that, not just that, Deji, but I'm also going to have to. Not just that, Deji, but I'm gonna have to pull a Jova right now because you have to rem you have to understand, Deji, that we have very good reasons to believe that a shit ton of plot was cut from the final game because uh, with the recent leaks that we've been seeing about these all these areas that we never got to explore in the final game, and considering the uh, the plot points that come out of nowhere and so on, it's pretty obvious that uh, the game didn't even the final game didn't even start where we're supposed to start. Apparently, we were supposed to start with Sonic as a loner, and then he meets his friends. And of course, I got cut to meet a deadline. But again, that's a topic for another day. Um, yeah, the point is, with, with so I don't understand why Sega keeps hiring these people. I, okay, I get it. There are still people who like Pontiac Graph, and power to you if you still like his stories. But you have, but th the truth is that as of right now. Most of the Son most Sonic fans are kind of tired of them and kind of want the series to go back to a more action adventure or uh, kind of like the stuff that Shiro Malakala was writing, basically, to give you an idea. So I'm, I'm honestly baffled as to why Sega keeps getting these guys. Is it because they're cheap to hire or something? Because like, like by their own admission, they don't they know barely anything about the Sonic mythos, the, the character's backstory, because they have to research on Wikipedia and stuff like that to get the basic gist of it. It's it, 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 it baffles my mind. Why is Sega suppose? And remember, this is Sega after they say, oh, now, now we're shooting for quality, but we're keeping the writers who wrote the worst script in a Sonic game ever. Shattered Crystal, I mean. So, I mean, that that's not upping your quality to me. But whatever. The point is, that's incompetence on part of Sega. If they really are aiming for higher quality with recent games, then they should have known better instead of getting these writers back and actually get... Get, get fucking Ian Flynn uh, on, 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 to work that's on this. For, for all, I, mean, I, was, I was going to say that. I mean, I, I know, I know that, I know that you're not the biggest fan of Ian Flynn, Jova, but you have to admit. Uh, I mean, it wait, wouldn't... hold on. I'm indifferent to Ian Flynn. Uh, I don't okay, really okay. have anything against him. Okay, okay. The point is, okay. Even those who might not like Ian Flynn that much, I mean, at least give him a chance. At least, I mean, after at the very least, he's a fan and he knows the lore and stuff. So uh, yeah, remember, Dupont and Graf have gone on record saying that they went on YouTube. So watching cutscene. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Ian Flynn, from what I've heard, I haven't read any comics of his, so I don't know. But I've seen his boom episodes that he wrote, and those were pretty good. So didn't they also say that they didn't know much about the franchise, so went to Wikipedia? Yes, yes, I, I said that earlier. Yes, uh, that's that's exactly my problem with it. Why not? You have a writer right there who, and apparently now the comics are apparently canceled or something. So apparently, yeah. so so supposedly now he has a much more free time. Get him. He's right there. Anyway, the point is, yeah. I don't get why Pontiac and Graf are back. It, it, it kind of contradicts the whole we're aiming for quality thing, because if you were really aiming for quality, at least in the story department, you should have known better than to get these writers that most Sonic fans are again, tired of at this point. assuming that they are back. Uh, okay, uh, again, assuming that they are back. If, if, we, if, if they are not indeed back, then we'll, we'll just apologize and all that good stuff. All right, that's my thoughts on the, on the writing in general. Jova, go ahead. Deji, go ahead, Deji. I forgot that Jova's last. Uh, I'm pretty much indifferent towards Bontap and Graf. Sure. They're not, they they do their jobs. Like, it's not the best or the worst. It's just whatever. And long as they get more hate mail than they deserve. Yeah. I, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure we all agree on they're, that. They're not Ken Penders, for fuck's sake. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, I think we can all agree that they don't deserve 
the level of the hate that they've I been getting, and they're also not pandas. Well, it, well I'll, I'll also say this, Deji. While it is true that they are not the worst of the worst by any means, not that they're Ken Penners or Shun Zuki Nakamura, let's face it, being better than Shun Nakamura and Ken Penners, that's not really an accomplishment now, is it? Okay, what about being better than Azuka, considering you're at the well, bots to rivals games? And, and, and shout out the Hedgehog. Anyway, but that, but okay, that's a topic for another time. Let's uh, okay, go, carry on, Deji, please. I, I feel as if because they can write. Uh, are you familiar with Mad? Uh, familiar with what? Sorry, you cut you, out with what? With what? Mad World. Yes, Mad World. Yeah, is, I am uh, as well. Yes, Mad World so is uh, Mad World works well because remember, uh, it's a detached game. With a detached sense of humor, it's the kind of humor that best suits their skills. The problem is that yeah. Sonic doesn't. The problem is that Sonic has never been about detached humor, and that's the reason why they, their writing doesn't fit in the series. Go ahead, keep going. I, I feel as if they got lucky with colors because, yeah. well, that's a whole part part of colors. Colors is that breather game. So, like, what happens? Everyone accepted it after all. How chaotic things got, but it feels like they don't. Sega Sonic Team doesn't really get what made Color successful. They're just trying to copy it, but still yeah. missing the point. I agree. You done? So, so I hope that if they're if they're making writing the game, I hope that they do a good job. Like that's that's all I can do. And like, or we could go with Plan B, hire Flynn. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Go ahead, Jova. Yeah, yeah. Well, I gotta say, Pontap are by no means the best, but they're neither the worst. Again, color shows that they can be good. Generation shows that they got squandered. Lost World shows that they had promise. I'm still not entirely sure what went on with it. Again, if Lost World had more cutscene, that could definitely have helped facilitate the story better. Now, I'm not saying that I'm demanding that they come back, but honestly... They've got a shot with forces all the same. And heck, if this is their story they're coming up with again, then, well, it does show that they're willing to go for different tones and whatnot without being too try-hard. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And they did improve in Fire and Ice, with help or with not. Either way, I will give them credit where credit is. Oh, wait, they were Fire and Ice? Uh, yeah. Basically, what happened is that they they were only two out of um, eight writers, and basically six writers from the six writers from the show came in to help them. Basically, yeah, I, I even proved that recently uh, in, in I, SSMB I, 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 by showing the credits. Wait, a tying game had to had eight writers. Uh, basically, if Bill well, Freiberger, Bill, Fr some, some writers from the show came in, like Bill Freiberger, Tim Guerrero. And a couple others whose name I'm not I'm not remembering right now. But basically, Bill Freiberger, the head writer of the show, was a writer for the um, for the Fire and Ice, which explains why that game was such an improvement. Honestly, if you ask me. But go ahead, Jova. Keep going. <laughs> but uh, yeah, honestly, I mean, yeah. Regardless, we don't know how much help they had, but I do believe that they're not bad writers, even when it comes to Sonic. Again, part of the issue is uh, the mandates and whatnot um and i will say this their <coughs> character dialogue is still some of the best that the characters have had. like i mean sonic colors even lost world has had a good about of sonic snarkiness like seriously they're definitely good at writing the dialogue if nothing else story they may be a bit finicky on but dialogue wise i'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt so if they are the writers then go for it you have another chance if they're not Okay, uh, Ian Flynn, and look, I have nothing against Ian Flynn, it's just, I read Sonic comics, I just don't really get the overall feeling of his particular voice, because the Sonic comics tend to have multiple writers, I mean, yeah, he does good here and that, he has had a slip up too, though, so. Yeah, of course, but him, it's, it's the fact that he's been the one writing the main book for ten years, so. Well, I still think you know, he knows that he's very familiar with this franchise yeah. as well. I mean, yeah. he has I still think he deserves at least a, a shot. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, just saying I mean, because of that he has the capability, but yeah, go ahead, Jova. Again, he's not infallible, but I guess if he becomes a writer too, that's a welcome... 
I'm yeah. welcome to whatever. It's not, it's not even just that. He himself interacts with fans on Twitter, so even if he does, does slip ups in the games, we could even voice our feedback to him and he would implement it. He's a very well, cool guy. Well, to be fair, Pedro, we can't fault Pontef for not really interacting with fans because they tried that, and well, we can't have nice Well, things. that's a whole nother can of worms, but uh, all right, we're, we're veering off topic right now. Go ahead and finish your thoughts, Jova, please. Basically, the story from what we've seen and been able to gleam off of it doesn't look bad. And hey, the premise of Eggman taking over and them having to get it back from the <coughs> resistance, that's cool at all. I agree but and disagree I... with you. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Move Very on. well. Then. But yeah, basically, story could go either way here, Pontaf or not. Before we move on, I'll just like to say that, uh, like I said, I agree and disagree with you. I do, uh, I, I do think their dialogue is better than the, some of the stuff we've seen in Adventure One, where characters just talk at each other. What happened anyway? We just about to just like that, and then pause for like three seconds. That was like you see that at least in Pontax scripts, the dialogue does flow a bit more naturally. So I'll give you that. But at the same time, I still would like to see some more dialogue akin to what the dialogue in Rise of Lyric, because I actually think Rise of Lyric had a really good idea for how to do the, the, the dialogue, especially in terms of the, the voice direction. But that's a topic for another day. All right, moving on. All right, so everybody, so that was um, everything about the writers. So let's move on to the main topic of the video, the, the new gameplay style slash mechanics slash character slash whatever. Um, the char the character custom creation mechanic. All right, uh, well let's keep going with the usual order. Shiroi, what's your take on this new mechanic slash gameplay style slash character? I am perfectly okay with this idea, aside from a couple of issues here and there. Mm -hmm. um, one, why wasn't this done a long time ago? Because hmm. with this franchise, you'd think it would be the kind of thing that... I have a good answer for that, but I'll save it for my thoughts. Okay. Um, and But yeah, this is something that honestly to me fits right at home in the Sonic series. I think they could have... Um, well, okay, they should have... Um, in terms of the animal, the species themselves, the quote skills they actually have or lack thereof are very inconsequential. So what they could have done, I mean, they've had a whole plethoral of animals in this franchise throughout the years. They could have just made the gameplay styles akin to those. Like with a rabbit, you could fly and, you know, what, Thank you. whatnot. Um, they, they just could have, they, they could have, you know, um, oh gosh, I can't. Do something can't with the fucking it. species. That's basically what you're saying. Yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah, they, they oh I'm going to have quite a bit to talk about with, in that regard. No, they could have been a bit more in-depth with it. And, um, you know, like a lot of people, I kind of sort of see this as them responding to the hate they get for um, their right. own characters. Um, <laughs> but again, I'm, not, I'm not against the idea at all. I just think it could have been a lot more flushed out. All right. Yeah. Um, go ahead. I have quite a lot to uh, say, so I'm Deji, would you like to go first? <laughs> oh, God. No, I... Okay, fine. Honestly, so what she was saying, this is probably an idea that they should have done a while ago. And I probably would have been a little more open, less pessimistic towards it and when we first heard the rumors months ago if this wasn't the first game that we've gotten in four years, like, if, if it came out, like, two years later or something, fine, but not when everyone they were being so quiet and hinting something. It's like... Thank you. Ah, boy. But the, I, the idea itself, it makes perfect sense. If, if, if there's one thing I've learned about the internet is people like creating stuff. Like, you, you just Google search Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Mario <laughs> Maker! <laughs> the most you'll see is... I'll, I'll get to that. The most you'll see is, like, Sonic OC, Sonic Recolors. And granted, there's a stigma towards Sonic OCs. They, especially, with, I think that Sonic Paradox short summarized everything wrong with <laughs> I, I, I love I love that particular short. <laughs> but it's just... There are some legitimately well-made OCs out there. I have friends who are great at doing that. 
Gretz, but like I said, the main OC problem is everything that's wrong with an OC. <laughs> the, 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 see, the thing is that for every good one, there's like twenty terrible ones. Yeah, well, fine, because fine most of them, the because yeah. most of them are overpowered Sues, or they're just used for shipping. Yeah. <laughs> Cheeroid. What? <laughs> I don't ship my OCs. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, Edgy. Oh. Anything else? Uh, my, and your take uh, on your, your take on the game the gameplay uses so for like, the character creation and stuff like that. Uh, the, the way that each uh, uh, species functions. Uh, one more thing I want to say is that you look you look at Minecraft, you look at Mario Maker, and the most obvious comparison is Dragon Ball Xenoverse, Honestly. and those games are successful, especially Xenoverse. I felt to my to my knowledge is the best selling Dragon Ball game. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring so that up in my thoughts. So that makes perfect sense to Sega to capitalize on this. I have it to say about it that. could it could sell just for that premise alone. Indeed. Don't just, just don't. Oh, no, I, 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 I just wish that we had more options instead of the seven animal types that we've gotten. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah, know, actually, uh, the, the types we've got to me are fine. I, I, I'm hoping that this game is good because that, that's all I want. Well, obviously, <laughs> that's all I want. Okay. Uh, anything else that, about the, um, the character creation thingy that you like, like the the, the, um, the various possibilities of creation? I can now make Scourge. The, the gadgets. Scourge. <laughs> <laughs> the gadgets. Um, you want to bring that up, or like, any particular thing uh, to say about that? Uh, I, I want to wait until we see more before I say anything. About Fair that. enough. I, f I forgot about that. Uh, I hope those chow backpacks become merchandise. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's interesting? Uh, before I do my thoughts, uh, you know what's interesting? My brother, who grew up with uh, Sonic Adventure 2, and by Sonic Adventure 2, I mean the Shaw world of Sonic Adventure 2 battle. Um, <laughs> he's a huge fan of Shaw. He actually was even part of a Shaw forum and everything. He's basically was basically huge. But and the Shaw community, and this is of course word for him because he was a, a part of that community back in the day. And Shao community, as of right now, is pretty much dead. Most people have given up and moved on. Because, um, and my brother still to this day says that uh, the Shao world could have worked as a standalone spin-off series. Um, especially now in mobile, because since there's a lot of pet simulator thingies in mobile. Uh, but alas, and, and I agree actually, I actually really enjoyed the Shao world, despite a lot of people not enjoying it. Anyway, but that's a topic for another day. Um, yeah, my thoughts on the... Okay, I will agree that uh, it is kind of a genius... I will agree with some of you and even Johnny's thoughts on the matter that uh, it is kind of a genius idea from a marketing perspective just to attract people. I mean, like, it, it, like um, this, uh, this, of course, generates controversy and controversy is the best form of publicity you can get when you when you get right down to it. So yes, uh, in terms of, you know... Putting the game on the map, it's kind of a genius move. I will agree with you there. And yes, it does appeal to a large, considerable part of the French uh, of the franchise's fan base that hasn't quite been explored ever in the games, not to my knowledge, at least. Um, but here's see, here's the thing, my problem. And Deji kind of brought this up uh, in some way. Okay, actually, no, I'll address Shiri's thing first. You're surprised that nobody has ever. Uh, tried this before, and here's my take. We're on not it. talking about Sonic Dreams Collection. Yeah. And okay, th ahead. this will kind of address also Deji's um, argument of sorts. Uh, here's how, why I think this is. Uh, while this is a good idea from a marketer, I think this is a bad idea in terms of the game's quality and reputation. Like because okay, it's it's good in terms why? of marketing and sales, but I don't like. Uh, what they're doing because as and the Piff brought this up as well in SSMB and I agree with her on this that uh, remember one of the big reasons why the Sonic franchise in general has become kind of a uh, one of many obviously I'm not saying this is the main one it's probably not even close to being the main one but it is one of the major ones one of the major reasons why the Sonic franchise is basically the laughing stock of the gaming community nowadays is a lot a lot of times because of the um, what you're talking to um, Wait, let, let, let Pedro stuff. finish please 
All right. Um, yeah, it's of course the the deviant art stuff, the various fan art stuff, the shitty fan art stuff that we see. And I, don't, like they just said, they, don't get me wrong, there are the good ones out there. I'm sure there are, and I'm familiar with them. Good but... outweighs the negative. Mm, that's not what I heard. Debatable, but... yes, I know, but that's another. Discussion. I have to agree, mm-hmm. as 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 a person who's actually in. What is considered, what, well, what are considered some of the worst fandoms for some reason, even though it's complete nonsense. Um, okay, this is a thing, like, people complain about the fan art being terrible, and a lot of it is, like mine, for example. Um, but the thing is, people say, like, oh, it's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's not. It really isn't. Like, you have to go out of your way to look for it a lot of the time. And it's like, I feel like if you get worked up about this si- this kind of thing, whether it be uh, Sonic, Steven Universe, Undertale, Homestuck, you know, like the- those are among the top worst fandoms, supposedly. I-, I mean, if you're getting worked up about this kind of thing, generally it's kind of your fault, in my opinion. I agree. Because, I mean, some... Uh, like shitty parts of a fandom shouldn't ruin something for you. I just had to say that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I sure, sure. I completely agree with everything you just said. However, let's face it. That's not how everybody's gonna react. Like, no, not a, well, a lot of people are not good, that, as reasonable as you are. I think or me. Well, I've seen like, a lot well, of the reactions to this already. Um, because you get the people who are, you get the people who are okay with it. You get the people who are, you know, of course, laughing at it, and you know that's understandable. Yeah. We've all been doing that, but then there's the rest. Indeed. Oh yeah, that's right. The people who are ecstatic about it. <laughs> anyway, yeah. uh, all right. Uh, oh wait, I forgot one more thing to point out. Go ahead. You can't make any echidnas. Thanks, Ken Penders. Yep, basically, yeah. <laughs> yep. We definitely um, have him to Like I said that. before, it makes no sense to have it because Knuckles, last of kind, yada, yada, yada. There's, oh. that, there's that too, although, however... That honestly, is until uh, Dark Brotherhood. That's just a thing. That. That's just a thing, she Roy. Honestly, like she, like jo- like Johnny said in his 06 review, I don't, I don't think Sonic Team even remembers what Knuckles' backstory is, is at this point because. <laughs> oh, but, they no. do. They do. They actually do. It's in the bio. So why then, isn't he on Angel all right, Island? <laughs> well, in that case, the, Java, why is he on Soliana for no reason? Explain that to me. Hey, that's Sonic 06. That thing is a okay. Fine. Why is he in Sonic Heroes? Shouldn't he be defending his island, protecting his island, and shit? Because Sonic Adventure 2 is established that he can shrink down the Master Emblem, then that's what he does now. <laughs> so basically the whole lone uh, solitary warrior thing that was established in Sonic Adventure 1 has been throwing out the window. Nice to know. All right. He basically, yeah, keeps it up, he basically keeps it up his butt like the Chaos Emeralds. So. I'm not going to rant about this because, again, off topic, but I'll just say this. It diminishes his character a lot in my eyes, uh, specifically from what has been established no, in Adventure saying. 1. Knuckles was a really good character to me at one point, but that's like a lot of Sonic character. <laughs> anyway. They were right. a good one. All right. Um, to be so, to... Jury, it's about of them not showing up much, and we have Sega to thank for that. All right, if you don't Sorry, mind. Pedro, go ahead. All right. The thing is, okay, and like like I was about to say, yes, it's uh, don't get me wrong, people should be as reasonable as Shiro I just said. However, let's face it, most people are not going to be like that because, like I said before, the Sonic, fan, the Sonic franchise at this point is basically the laughing stock of the gaming community. Uh, and the thing is, and and I've already seen plenty of the uh, uh, mainstream gaming articles talking about how oh now all the Sonic f- uh, fanboys get to make their own fan fiction characters and stuff like that, like and they get to finally live out their fan fictions in the game. So that's that that's the kind of attention that while well, that's good for marketing, idiots, but yeah, no, no, I, I know Jova, but again, I'm talking about in terms of um, the game's reputation, and that counts for the game's reputation. Uh, yeah, you know, worry, the, critic, you know the critics are going to jump right on this. Exactly, you know that's exactly my point. Go ahead, Jovan. You know but be quick, because I'm... Something? Go ahead, please. Sorry. The ironic thing is, like, actually, outside of SSMB, a lot of the comments seem to actually be okay. You're positive, I dare say, about this. However, the journalists... Okay, I've been looking at some like Polygon, and surprisingly, they haven't been that disrespectful of it ironically um granted i haven't seen them all uh have you go seen check any ign ones? go check ign whatever it says <laughs> <laughs> oh pedro 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 uh, even people who hate sonic know that ign ain't worth um, listening pedro, to a bit when it comes one, to sonic um, 
that would require me actually typing that into my browser, and I just don't want to do that. So, All right. so how is old I ignorant? Anyway, uh, okay, like I said, I don't like this idea because, again, it her it, it further now they've ba they're basically calling attention to this particular part of the fandom, which. Regardless of whether or not there's good stuff out there, and don't get me wrong, more I'm good sure. Than bad. There's more good than bad. Okay, okay, I, I get. Let him finish, I get that. We we've already him. we've already established that, Chova. Anyway, the point is, and I've even said it myself. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't like the fact that they're bringing this up because this is not the kind of thing that the Sonic series needs right now. The Sonic series reputation is already in the gutter, and this is not going to help it. Honestly, this is not the time to bring something like this up. You should have first rebuilt the franchise's reputation among the general populace before trying something like this. This is not the correct time to bring this up. And and this actually kind of leads into my next point. The fact that uh, why, why this is not the correct time to be this experimental. Because if this goes wrong, um, it's going to once again blow up in their face like the fishing did and like the, um, the werehog did. Um, so... I don't agree with this particular thing because why? Like I said, I said this on SMB even. Why can't we just have a focused 3D Sonic game that picks a fucking gameplay style and sticks with it? Why do well, we? They are, oh, the hold on, Joe. Do pick with the gameplay style aside finished, from I'm classic finished. Sonic, but I digress. Go on. While it is true that the gameplay style differences are is nowhere near as different as, um, say, an uh, uh, Adventure it's One, it's obviously, obviously, obviously. Of all the game play, multiple gameplay style Sonic games that we've had since Adventure One, this is the one that has the most similar gameplay styles. There's uh, uh, so, uh, so obviously it's not nowhere near as bad as those. Obviously, I however, when we get down to it, the only elephant in the room of this is actually the fact that it's OCs themselves. Mm-hmm. And the thing is, no, there's no elephant option though. However, <laughs> I still I, like 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 the Kaze Blade said in his first uh, Sonic Forces video. When the hell is the boost formula gonna have a chance to fucking stand on its own throughout an entire game? And yes, I get Jova, I get the thing that it's expensive and hard to make um, an entire game, full length game, based on just those stages alone. I get that. Outside of outside of a two D game, anyway. Exactly, like, exactly, oh. because the colors got around that by being mostly two D. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I can actually elaborate on that. See, what Colors did was have a smart idea of having Sonic not be that fast, but also limiting his boost better. Like, seriously, that's one thing that they could do that Colors did, just make him more 3D. I agree. Limit Sonic's boost and make him not as fast as he is. Like, seriously. I mean, trust me, Pedro. I'm with you when I say that there is a way to do it. Sonic Colors and Unleashed... Both show well, actually, no. Yeah, that still had the warehog. That's still track, the warehog. <laughs> but basically, Sonic Colors show that you can do this. And like, oh, and look, it being two D, it didn't even have to be all two D. They could have just keep doing whatever they were doing, and mm -hmm. boom. I agree with you there. Yeah, that's actually that's a, a path worth exploring. I agree. Um, and and the thing is, see, here's the thing. I, why are we doing the the alternate games, regardless of what? Uh, yeah, granted, it's like I've just said, it's much more subdued compared to previous games. But still, why are we doing the multiple game style things again? Why? Wh where? Well, why can't we? we just have two, but yeah, it's that out of again. They have to find a way to pad out the game with the boost. Well, remember, Joe, the Hizuka himself said there's going to be a third gameplay style. He counts this as a third gameplay style, so... Anyway... Uh, it's... Oh, sorry. Um, I'll elaborate on what I think later, unless you... No, no, no. no. Wait, well, if, you, if it's quick, go ahead. But please stop interrupting me every single time I say something. Well, it's mainly just to add on to something, you know, go save ahead. us trouble Fine. in the future. Fine, go ahead. One thing that's actually cool is that actually this third gameplay style is actually doing something classic Sonic-esque. As in... It's a different gameplay style, yes, but it's pretty much Sonic, but with different abilities. Mm -hmm. Which, honestly, that's one thing I, I was about to get into that, actually. About this character creator thing. It's like, oh, that's why I say, I go, in this case, the multiple gameplay styles, stands classic Sonic, isn't that bad a thing? Because, for once, this is them actually getting the message. Only it could have been done with actual established characters. Thank but... you! Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, that's quite possibly <laughs> the biggest thing we can all agree on. Look. 
I like this idea. I'm okay with the OC. I have no problems with it. But even I will point out that it's stupid. As all heck that we don't at least have Tails playable with these gadgets. Thank you. Or, yeah, like, uh, yeah, go. yeah. Joe, Joe, you get the point. Joe, Joe already kind of got ahead for me, but yeah, like I said, why? Why? See, this is the big problem here. Once again, the series is still suffering from, uh, granted, to a lesser extent, like I said before, to a lesser extent, to a much lesser extent than previously, grant you, but still present. The fact that this series is still throwing shit at the wall, hoping it sticks. To this, we're still getting these random gimmicks in this case the character christian thing that nobody asked for don't get me wrong i'm not saying it's going to be bad i'm just saying that uh it's something that clearly i didn't see anybody asking for it uh, aside from of course the um, the fan art people i guess um why are we still doing this thing where we keep bringing in these gimmicks that nobody asked for why can't when is going to be when are we finally going to have a, a free a full 3d sonic game that picks a fucking gameplay style and mix up if you need if it's because if you need to do what jova said in terms of falling out of colors do that let the fucking boost formula fucking stick on its own i'm getting tired of having to share my boost gameplay with stuff that i didn't ask for i think i um, have okay. a better Oh, no, sorry, Sierra, go first. Go ahead, Sierra. All I was going to say was it goes back to um, the whole way Sega operates. I mean, it, yeah, but I'm tired of it. It's, it's, they, they, I'm guessing they're afraid. They, I think they're in too deep. <laughs> like, I, they, they, they're they, afraid to piss anyone off. And by trying to find a way not to piss everyone off... Exactly, thank you. I was, I was also, piss everyone off. I was about to bring that up also, by the way. I, yeah. I, I, they I, don't I, know. They, they can't please anyone. I mean, thank you. Is, I, I was literally about to say that as well. <laughs> but, I, I do have a suggestion. Why, that's, why don't we just play as someone like Tails or Shadow or Blaze in that boost formula just so they could yeah, Blaze and Shadow could be perfectly adapted into the boost formula. Yeah, so just do that. Like, we can have the boost levels, but, like, okay, so in order to, like, expand for replayability, let us play as an alternate character through those same levels. That's, that's And Knuckle, and, and, and they could literally take the Werehog gameplay and adapt it into Knuckles, and it would work much better. Like, Joe brought it up in our playthrough. I mean, okay, back to what I was saying, though. It, it goes back to the whole identity crisis that this series is still trying to crawl out. We've been doing this since fucking Adventure 1. We've been doing this for almost 20 years now. And I'm tired of this. Why are we still doing this shit? Why isn't this series fucking pick the fucking style and stick with it for more than a fuck, than two games? It, it, it annoys Sega the shit out of me. Sega need to theoretically grow some balls. And, and, and like Shira just said, and like Shira just said, let's think about this for a moment, because uh, someone brought this, I think it was Scar who brought this up on SSMB. Uh, let's think about this for a moment. This is an, another This is another problem. That this game reeks of focus testing. Because let's think about it. It's trying to please so many parts of the fandom at once. I mean, it, it, it's trying to do the whole series and more darker tone to please the adventure fans. It's bringing up, it's brought back the boost gameplay to please the, the more modern fans. It's trying also to appeal to, I guess, a new audience, including Xenoverse people, I guess, to uh, with the Christian thing. It's trying to... Uh, I guess appeal to the people who want multiple characters by by having oh you have you can create your own character with whatever skills uh, among these skills you have, and they're trying to appeal to so many different sections of people at the same time. And like you just said, they're for the for the most part, of course. There's uh, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna love everything about this game, but uh, there's we're already seeing backlash from it, proving that you're not. Pleasing, you're not going to be able to please everybody, Sega. You're not, you're not. So stop trying to please everybody. Pick a specific audience you want to appeal to and appeal to them. Spe uh -oh. Unless, Preferably the Sonic fan base, not the uh -oh. Dragon Ball Universe fans. It also doesn't help that when you're trying to appeal to everybody, you just wind up disappointing. Everybody. Exactly. But and and like and yeah and, and like I was saying earlier, it's it's one of those things. And this is my one final thing that I'll say about the character creation thingy. Like Joe brought it up. Why the hell? Okay, first of all, like she always said, the skills are incredibly inconsequential. 
Oh, the bear! Oh, the bear can blow enemies away with the homing attack. The homing attack kind of already does that anyway. So what My the fuck? guess is that the main issue is how they describe it. I mean, go, maybe they might be more spectacular in actual operation, but yeah, the way they describe them, they are. Yeah. So, and okay, uh, like she already brought this up, so I'll skip that for now. The point is, the, the, the different abilities for each species are fucking inconsequential, uh, and if they're going to be this inconsequential, they might as well not have bothered. But to put this up, like Jova just said, why couldn't we just have different characters, especially considering this is a game about the resistance led by Sonic and everything? Why couldn't we have each of these individual species be a natural character? Why couldn't Tails be the one using gadgets? Why couldn't um, Omega, Knuckles. Yeah, why couldn't why, why couldn't why couldn't why couldn't Omega be the one using the flamethrower? Why couldn't um, Blaze be the one sporting fire? Whereas the person exactly the using the flamethrower. You have just literally. It's literally a matter of taking the fucking character models from generations and pasting them in there, Sega. It's so simple. Why does this elude you so? Why? This is such an inco Sonic Team is and Sega in general to me. It's quite. It's so baffling to me. They're, in my opinion, the most incompetent company in gaming, in the sense that don't get me wrong. I'm not saying they're the worst company in gaming or anything. They're not, uh, obviously not. Well, obviously. there's a difference between incompetent and you know worst. Yeah, of course. That's what I was about to say. It's just that every every single decision they make is always the opposite of what I think they should do. It's amazing how this company consistently continues to baffle me with how illogical they can be with their decisions. Like I said before, if you like the character creation thingy, power to you, but I don't like it because this further adds to the lack of identity that this series has at this point. This series cannot pick an identity and fucking stick with it, and I'm fucking tired of it. We've been doing this since Adventure 1, and I'm tired of this. Well, I'm... I'm, I'm not really that <laughs> annoyed by it, but I can definitely see why you are, because... Yeah, yeah I'm gonna be quite honest, as much as I like and am okay with the OC thing, dude, come on. People have been asking for the return of the playable characters. You did them well enough in Adventure 1. Heck, I'm not even the people who... Okay, look, the only character I just like playing as in Adventure 1 is big. Every other character I'm fine with. Heck, Adventure 2! Um, can yeah, I'm fine cool. with all the... the big is one of the best characters to play as in Heroes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that too. Yeah, again, 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 Hero showed that you can tailor characters so that they have their different tiers. All yeah, you have to do is take the hero guessing. stuff and make sure that each each campaign is not literally copy-pasted. And there you yeah, go. Yeah, you got your golden. Yes, the, game, but, the gameplay of Heroes itself was actually fine. It was just everyone had to go through exactly well, the same stages. and enemies with flat really... bars aside, but that's another uh, topic. Yeah, but... Like in terms of you know, the, I mean, like how the concept, you know, the concept, how, how, yeah, the concept is great. I, I think even Rafe mentioned this. The concept for Sonic Heroes is a fantastic concept, but the execution left a lot to be desired. Anyway, yeah, that could be said about every Sonic game. Anyway, anyway, then let me, just so I finish without my thought, we've been doing this for almost twenty years now. Uh, specifically, uh, specifically eighteen now, because uh, it's gonna it, Sonic Adventure is gonna be twenty years old in two. 20 on 2019 so 18 years now we've been doing this for 18 years now and i'm tired of this speaking as a fan who's been with the series since the um the early 90s i'm fucking tired of this why are we still doing this why and, and allow me to mention by the way the last time we had proper multiple characters in a Sonic game was in 2000, aside from Rise of Lyric, obviously, um, was in 2009 with Sonic and the Black Knight. And even then, in that game, you only unlock uh, Shadow, Blaze, and Knuckles after you're almost done of the game anyway. So basically, oh. we've it's been eight years since the last time we've had multiple characters, and it's starting to get ridiculous at this point. They've had I Sonic Team as... Is... Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead, no, go ahead. I, I, like I said, I think they're just afraid. Sonic, uh, but that's but that's the thing, Shiroi. If well, they okay, if they Joey, keep, they need to grow some balls then, because honestly, well, okay. go, ahead. go ahead. This kind of goes back to what you were saying earlier about about the, about the video game journalism, Pedro. It's that same video game journalism that's made them so afraid because practically every reveal you see, they will bring up Sonic 6 at the start of it. 
Like seriously, True. all a lot of those problems tail back to yeah. yeah I see what you're going with. You're thinking I that they're the DLC thing, where you have and to I'm not say, saying that I completely it. disagree with you, but again, it's all the video game journalism yeah. because True. seriously. I'm willing to bet that if it weren't for video game journalism constantly bringing up a six, letting Sega know that they remember, and let's not forget Game Informer tanked a bit of Generation Score for ha- so much as having the characters there in cutscenes. Mm-hmm. And like I, I am willing to bet that if it weren't for them, we'd have had our playable characters. I understand. Back I understand point. what you say, Joe. I understand why they. I'm not saying that Sega are not cowards. Okay. <laughs> they are. No, no, I think they are. Yeah, they exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Shit, they are cowards, I'm, I'm sorry. Not, <laughs> I'm not going to say that they're justified in how they're handling this. What I am going to say is, like, oh, I certainly see the reason I want them to grow out of it. And I guess this is sort of their rebellion against it in some way, because, yeah, there's... Okay, like Tia said, Sega and Sonic Team know what they're doing with this OC thing. They're definitely going to appeal and... Well, they're really going to try this and that. However, if this is a success... Keep it to spin-off territory. Or if you are going to have Thank it come you. back, then at least show it as a reason that we can have the old playable characters back. Seriously, I'm honestly thinking that if we already had playable characters back, this wouldn't be that much of an issue. Like, I'll just say that. Uh, yeah, so, so, uh, I understand what you're saying, Jova, but and, that, and I understand why they would be afraid because of that. But he, but there's also another thing. If the developer them, if the developers themselves are not confident in their own abilities to create to properly execute the this, the, the, uh, the game properly, why should I be confident in them? If the developers themselves don't believe in themselves, why should I? I've. Uh... I've only mentioned I this. I think that they do believe in themselves, but again, they're working with what they're allowed to. Again, we have no idea what's going on behind you know, the scenes. So uh, you know, anyone is free to definitely have their own interpretation. You of know it. what they should do? I've, I've mentioned this before. You know what they should do? They should just stop this, trying to please the critics because at this point, the critics are not going to... Uh, flip flop and suddenly start liking Sonic again. It's not going to happen at this point. They should just try their best to make a good game that appeals to the fans who already like Sonic, not try to appease to people who who are just here to basically shit on the picnic. It's pointless at this point. They should just give up on trying to climb a wall that they can't climb. It's a, it, it's like, seriously, like seriously. What happened? I mean, I go back in Sonic Colors. They were actually classy against people who wrongfully trashed the game. Heck, they even gave Jim Sterling a running for his money with that BS Colors review he gave. Like, seriously, oh. what happened to you, Sonic Team? It's interesting you say that because it's, it's interesting like that because uh, the, despite that bad review of Colors, um, eventually he kind of um, made up for that in Joe by being one of the firm defenders among the critics of Lost World. <laughs> so that's interesting, by the way. Uh, uh, oh yeah. wait, I just realized. Well, that. yeah, that's him post destruction. Wait, um, yes, um, yes, Deji? Oh. Uh, you know what? Might as well save it for final thoughts, because it kind of... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yeah well, Alright, I'm literally <laughs> about to finish myself, but the point is I can understand why they're doing this. It's just that I'm so tired of this series not fucking deciding what the fuck it wants to be. Is this just this game just reeks of focus testing? We have to have this to appeal to these people. We have to have this to, the, to appeal to these people. We have to have classic Sonic there to appease to the classic fans. I mean, the never fact the fact that we're releasing Mania, uh, which can perfectly do that job. No, no, no. We need classic Sonic in here Except because Mania is being worked on by again, like um, a, a... sorry, no, no, it's okay. Um, Mania is being worked on by a fan. Yeah, mo- a fan various who fans knows actually. What they're doing. Yep, true. And I mean, okay, I won't go into too much detail about this because we're not really here to talk about mania. Um, people are complaining about you know the inclusion of um, you know classic levels, but still, I mean, they've completely revamped them. So like, they aside from aesthetics, they're not really the same anymore, and the new zones are actually. Not for nothing, Shiroi, but I don't see how that ties into our discussion. I know, I've completely gone off on that one. Never mind. All right. Uh, what I was saying was, yeah, Classic Sonic Wait, is there to appeal to why class... Why can't they get someone else who cares? Why can't they get somebody who cares about the modern... That's a whole other discussion. Why can't they? But, uh, yeah. The point, okay. is, no, the point is, this game, to me, reeks of, of focus testing 
a game. We, uh, all of these, put all of these things into a soup so you can try to appeal to as many people as you can instead of just picking a fucking audience. Why can't Sonic Team just make a game that appeals to its fan base, the people who actually made the Sonic series what it is today? And just, and just give a middle finger to the others. Like, I mean, the Tales of series is a good example of this. The Tales of series is a very... I mean, recently, Tales of Berseria was the first game in the series to get critical acclaim in general. But for the most part, despite their quality, the Tales series often gets mixed at best reviews. Despite the fact that people like me and Teo still love the games regardless of that. Because we're fans and we like the, the, the series in general. And, and Hideo, Baba, Hideo Baba, the producer of the series, at least up until recently, recently left, but uh, when questioned about this, he specifically said, and I quote, We don't really care so much more about what the critics have to say about the games, more so about what the fans have to say, and we usually like to implement their feedback into the games rather than, because uh, we, we usually like to prefer to appeal to the people who buy our games. And that's what I think yeah, exactly. Sonic Team should do at this point. Stop trying to appeal to do what the Tales series the did. Stop trying to like bring in... Stop oh. yeah, stop trying to appeal to these people who don't like the series to begin with, so they're just not going to be unbiased anyway. Sonic Team, stop, stop, okay? Appeal to us. Don't appeal to them. It's pointless, okay? Pick yeah, a fucking... Pick, well, true, <laughs> but... I kid, I kid, I kid, I kid, I kid, because honestly, <laughs> honestly, 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 the fan base isn't... Well, okay, the sensible part of the fan base is <laughs> that divided. Let's be quite honest. Adventure gameplay could possibly. Let me just work. finish this so we can move on, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sega, stop. Think about what you're doing. Pick a fucking direction and stick with that fucking direction. To quote Jim Sterling's Sonic Boom uh, Jim, uh, Jim Inquisition, sticking to formula can get a sale. Of course. But the problem is that Sonic hasn't even been a been allowed to get anywhere near stale because every single game somehow manages to bring something completely different than previously. So you, you didn't even have that excuse. So yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Get your shit together. To me at least, of course. Go ahead, Jova. <laughs> All right, yeah, I did have a turn to talk about. Yeah, but you already brought most of it out, so keep it short, please. <laughs> yeah, um, like I said, the OC character stuff, that's... I'm fine with that. I, I'll i be quite honest, it's actually not as bad as I imagined either. And I assume that we'll get to see more out of it, and I do like their gameplay style. It's actually what should have been like that, an extension of Sonic's features. And heck, the fact that people aren't being completely negative about the Wisp because of the Wisp spawns... That's actually kind of a clever name title. Eh, that's nice. Um, but yeah, my main complaint, and one thing I think we can all agree on, bring back the other multiple playable characters, especially since apparently there's word about them being back in the cutscenes. Make them playable again. I kid you not, Saga. If you make the multiple playable characters playable, people probably won't hate this OC thing nearly as much. Uh, also, just to keep in mind, don't make if you're if you're gonna be forced to play it. Uh, no, if you're gonna be able to play as someone else, don't make it forced. Make it optional. Not just that. Uh, not not just that. Like I said before, it's been eight years, Sega. I, I mean, seriously, it, yeah. it's it's getting ridiculous at this point. Oh wait, wait. Do we have to play as the custom character at some point? We do apparently, but we're not oh. entirely sure. Okay. It's apparently going to work much like Generations. There's apparently going to be three ads per zone, one per each character. That's probably how it's going to work. Right, all right. Continue. Go ahead, Jova, carry on. All right, but yeah, honestly, I'm okay with this idea. Do I Now, my, my other main complaint is that I really hope that there's more species than what we've just heard about. Like, uh, yeah, it's nice, bear, bunny... And stuff, but come on, give us some reptilian options. Give us the option to play as I don't know, um, a fox. Maybe you can unlock more. Maybe a certain two-tailed fox. Maybe. Yeah, Just... you know, actually, I'm no, actually I want nine tails. You know, I'm actually speculating since apparently one of the customizable outfits is something like Amy's dress. I'm wondering if maybe you'll be able to unlock specialties that will actually allow you to pretty much play as the characters. Like, that is one thing it's I'm wondering and hoping for. Mm. But yeah, honestly, I'm not I'm not down in the dumps about this. In fact, 
I'm more positive about it than that, but I agree that it's really, really not a good substitute for actual character. Hmm. But, yeah. I've pretty much said most of my piece. I'm all right, all right, it, everybody. But I will not argue against the negativity on that one. All right. All right, see, see. Uh, all right, so, okay, so that's basically it. I don't think there's anything particular or topic that really needs to be discussed, especially because we still mostly want to wait for E3 so we can have more media information. So we'll just give our overall final thoughts uh, on the game in general, uh, if how how much we're still looking forward to it, and, and our hopes for the future of the Sonic series after this game in Mania. So, all right, Shira, you want to start? Well, it's no secret that I had zero interest in full up until uh, up until the recent news of the character creation. It hasn't made it hasn't suddenly made me interested in the game because you know, this is like it's literally just a character creator and Sega's marketing for this game has honestly been terrible. Like they haven't done anything to convince me to, you know, well, I'm going to buy the game either way, but they haven't convinced me to be excited for it. The only thing that this character creation thing has done is just pike my interest a little bit, and I'm interested to see what other news we get after that. But aside from that, like, Mania is the only thing I think about when it comes to Sonic games for 2017. Uh, Forces is still just sort of there for me. All right. So what are your hopes for the future after this after this, after this year? Oh, after this year um hmm. like well, okay let's okay let's specify since we're not talking about mania which I'm pretty sure mania is going to be successful and have a sequel but uh, what are your hopes for the future of 3D Sonic? I mm, I want them to uh get good basically. Um I'd like them to go back to something, if they're going to have multiple playable characters in the future, which they probably will, even if it's just the Sonics, I would like them to go back to something more akin to adventure or heroes in terms of gameplay style. Agreed. Like, not in terms of the story, because again, like, you know, Sonic stories don't really care for them much anyway. Much like, like the sure brain scr- I, 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 Honestly, after I would have agreed with you on that up until 2009 but 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 black knight proved to black me knight? yeah black knight uh, to me proved that shiro marakawa though flawed don't get me wrong he's not perfect by any means is a writer that uh, can make some really good stuff and and like i said before he left right before um, right after he got great that's the sad part about Which it anyway uh, I'll, I'll just say this uh uh, I'll just say this about that. Why can't uh, uh, about the story? Just uh, it, it. I mean, let's again. Sonic is the anti Mario, so honestly, abandoning all traces of uh, story to me should not be an option. Mm-hmm. Oh no, I'm not saying abandon it. I'm just saying you know, um, I'm I I don't really discuss Sonic story much because they're neither amazing nor sure. completely downright terrible, except for maybe Shattered Crystal. All right. Uh, anything else? No, no. I just want them like pretty much what you said. I just want them to refine everything again. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Edgy. <clears throat> um. So is it still to say that this is technically Generations Two? Yes, it not is <laughs> really, honestly, because yeah, we don't know if time travel's involved. But to be we fair, we don't know if time travel's involved. Yeah, we have classic Sonic. Aside from that, though, Green Hill is the only classic zone we've seen, and aside from that, we've seen new stuff. Now, granted, honestly, if we're going to say that, oh, it's because there's boost in classic stuff, well, then we might... Well, okay, it, it's if it's because there's boost in 2D stuff, then we might as well be calling it Sonic Boost Game Number 4. No, it's as much of a sequel to Generations as Super Mario Sunshine's sequel to... Do what now? Sonic Forces is as much of a sequel generation she has oh god the cops can you know <laughs> okay whatever let's just uh, say look it's not completely generations two so i'll give azuka the benefit of the doubt in that it has elements from it but 
I'm willing to bet that we'll be seeing actual new content because, well, the first Modern Sonic level is something to go by. Mm. All right, you carry on. Uh, my biggest worry is if the OC thing <laughs> takes off, uh, I'm afraid that Sonic Team will try to milk this off the ground, but forgetting what made it special in the first place. Kind of yeah. like what they do with the Wisp. Yeah. I agree. That's a good point, actually. The Wisps were good in Sonic Colors, but they haven't been good since. And uh, and also, if it does take off the spring kills, I need chance of us playing as somebody, uh, like any of the friends, again, permanently. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I, I don't want this game to fail or be at the bad. I, I, I think it might be a good game considering how much. Oh, that's another question. I, I, my, another fear is with how much buildup and all the clues that we kept getting since 2015. Do you think that everything will be worth it? Honestly, they're just speaking as someone who absolutely hates everything about Sonic Forces marketing since 2015. I, I'm going to say no, because I hate this marketing. I, I, I hate the way everything about the way whoever is in charge of marketing forces needs to be fucking fired. Because because um, whoever thought it was a great idea to show an act of Green Hill with unfinished music, because Tomei Otani confirmed that the, that the music we hear in Green Hill is a beta version, it's not the finished thing. Whoever thought that was a good idea is a fucking moron. And should be fired. That's what I said. Well, you, wanna, oh, yeah, you, want, I you, you want to carry on, Deji? Or... Yeah. I have no idea what's going on behind all the marketing of Forces, but I will agree, while not abysmal, Forces' marketing has been kind of incompetent. Well, E3 is around the corner, so we'll see what yeah, happens. Yeah, we haven't got long to go for that. I'll say this, though. I have more... Despite the bad marketing, I do actually have more positive feelings about Forces than negative. Of course, part of that is thanks to Aaron Weber. So, you know what? They should put Aaron Weber in charge of marketing. He knows how to do it. Not just that. Memes. Not just no, that. He knows how to market to the fans. Not just that. Yeah. Aaron knows Izuka. Can he fucking tell him that what people uh, that people want multiple playable characters? See if he uh, see if someone can get the fucking message to him. I don't. Yeah, but they know. It's just because of the reception that they've gotten. I've already, yeah. I've already, uh, I've already addressed that, and uh, it's ridiculous that they haven't learned the lesson that the Tales Studio has at this point. Oh, we should see. It's been, like I said before, it's been eight years. At this point, there's no excuse to for this. It, it's it, it, at this point, it's getting ridiculous. It's eight. It's been eight years, and we're still doing this shit. Well, this is uh, this is going to be a interesting road. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I interrupted you. Go, go carry on. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm done. It's just. Best of luck, and don't screw up. <laughs> All right, my final thoughts. Um, see, see, look, I don't want to be negative about Sonic. Like, every, like everybody else here, I grew up with this franchise. I don't want to hate the games. Why would I? That's, that, that, that's, that, that's insane. But the thing is that Sega, if Sega only gives me reasons to be pissed off, then I'm going to be pissed off. I mean, like I've said before, pick a fucking direction, Sega. What the fuck are you doing? Is, this they is know not... what they're doing, but they're doing it timidly. Well, grow some fucking balls then. Because this is yeah. ridiculous. That I agree with. I, I mean, like I've said before, we're, we're, it's been eight years. They're not going to turn around, Sega. The critics are not going to turn around. Don't bother. Just give up. You're fighting a battle that you cannot win. Anyway, yeah, I don't. Okay, I can. St I'm still gonna get the game, obviously. I'm still gonna get it. 
not day one considering there's a certain other, I, I don't know if you've heard of this but there's this this other free platformer that's coming <laughs> out also on holiday 2017 oh well there's oh, that it starts with an s or something also oh yeah uh, super mario fucking odyssey a game <laughs> being made by what is if you ask me the best development team in the world right now the, the, this team shits out freely platforming masterpieces like it's nobody's business and uh, <laughs> and it's uh, and considering it's going to be in direct competition with forces i'm not really optimistic about forces sales you know, it's, especially say. specifically on the switch on the switch if i can sorry to chime in and uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, also, a wild dribs also, appeared. Also, also, yeah, hello. Um, also, Pedro, to be fair, um, or to be fair, Pedro, I don't remember a single line of marketing for Mario Odyssey since the Switch reveal. Dribs, that's what this E3 is for. Nintendo specifically yeah. said that uh, E3, they're going to prime, much like they did with Breath of the Wild last, uh, last year. This year's oh, Nintendo E3 Odyssey is going to be primarily focused like on Super Mario Odyssey. Odyssey. Oh, sorry, I, just want to uh, I guess we will be getting more <laughs> forces E3 talk, but yeah. I think what were you saying, Digi? Look at the trailer for Odyssey compared to views to forces. There you go. Don't get yeah, me wrong. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, forces are going to sell on PS4, X Bone, and PC. No, I'm talking about yeah, of forces of will probably sell people. on all. Wait, wait, wait. Let him finish. Let him finish. I'm talking about in terms of marketing and people paying attention. More people are interested in Modesty because they showed us enough to give us a good idea of the game. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah no, I know. I get that. It's just all I'm, all I'm saying is aside from that one video from. Um, from when was when was the switch reveal in january well we have to remember dwebs um arms and splatoon 2 are coming first so obviously they're going to focus on that first and they're they're saving all their super mario odyssey guns for a free when most people will be watching and also Isn't should i awful. Awful. it worked for Breath of the wild it worked for Breath for the wild then that... well, and also from from what i heard it was more nintendo's e be more for for their the rest of their 2017 games in general. Well, true, but that they aren't, specifically that aren't, out, that aren't out by that point. Yeah, but they specifically said that um, if their E3 is going to primarily focus on Super Mario Odyssey. Obviously, it's going to have other stuff, but that's the primary focus. Uh, also, do we... yes, yes, Shuri. Um, you say that about the one trailer, like the fact that that one trailer that's like what like. Two minutes and a half. Two minutes long? Yeah, like two and a half minutes. That one trailer... Instantly sold us on it. Yeah, compared to the multitude of trailers and news we've had for Sonic Forces, the fact that that one trailer has gathered more interest than Sonic Forces has up until this point, shouldn't that show you the huge difference between the both marketing teams? Why, why, um, there's one thing, why, there's uh, definitely a di bit of interest regarding forces at the moment. <laughs> we go by its uh, popularity on YouTube at the moment. All right, not for nothing. I've been raving about that. But... <laughs> not, not for nothing, but I was uh, trying to finish my thoughts. Yes. Um, All right, I'll, um, I'll uh, mute again. All right, <laughs> see you, Lips. Anyway, yeah, what I, when was I? Thanks, Dwebs. Now I lost my train of thought. Whatever. Um, you were uh... talking about. Uh... You were summing up your thoughts. Yeah, I was, but when which specific point was I? <sighs> Whatever. Uh, I'll try. Marketing. I'll try to gather my thoughts. The oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, yeah, now I remember. We were talking about the marketing of Ford. Yeah, the I marketing. Do yeah. Well, yeah, the marketing. Yeah, like I said, the mar whoever's marketing this game needs to be fucking fired. That's basically it. And um, I'm sorry. What, Shuri? We could market it better. Yeah, anybody could fucking market this better. Anyway, the point is, um, Sega needs to get their shit together and just stop trying to please everybody and pick a fucking audience to appeal to. Because this is start because this is ridiculous. This is we've been doing this since an adventure one, and it's and it annoys the shit out of me that this keeps happening again and again and again. Just when I thought we were finally having a solid direction with uh, unleashed colors and generations. Uh, now we're back at this again. Well, and, uh, we're pretty much back where Generations left off, it seems, uh, with the modern gameplay. Yeah, but um, let's not forget. Uh, don't get me wrong. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to hate on Lost World when I say this. But um, but just when we thought that okay, Sega's now found a gameplay style that they're comfortable with. Now take the boost gameplay and apply it to a natural original game. 
And instead of doing that, they once again went fucking ape shit and completely revamped things with Lost World and um I know that Boom is a spin-off, but remember, they were marketed the shit out of it. It was shown any free as the primary uh, Sonic game and stuff like that. As uh, it, it was still a very prominent Sonic game. So it still kind of added to that lack of identity. And in fact, in fact, there's one thing that there's one thing that Jim Sterling specifically said. Also, by the way, in reply to some of the comments he had in his Sonic Boom Inquisition uh, about Sonic Boom being a spinoff made by a different team, and he specifically said, and I agree with him on this, the fact that different developer that, that Sonic Boom was a uh, the fact that a certain Sonic games were being made by different developers does not change my point. In fact, it only reinforces it. The fact that they have so many different people with different view visions working on different Sonic games. So yeah, to bring up that back to my focus on my point, Sega, pick a vision, pick a direction, stick with it, and stop trying to surprise us with these alternate gameplay styles that nobody asked for. It's We're done. You're done with this. You've had your time to experiment. You've, you've had your time to try to refine things, and you failed. And honestly, at this point, at this point, at this point, you should this should not be even be happening at this point. It it's irrational that they're still doing this. It goes beyond. It goes beyond everything that I consider logical for a developer to act. It's it. Ugh. Sega, get your fucking thank fuck for mania, like um, like Blue Blood says. <laughs> So yeah, uh, like I was, oh, yeah, that's right. I was talking about Super Mario Odyssey. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> I'm not going to. Uh, okay, I'm obviously going to get Sonic Forces, not on day one. But I, but obviously, so because obviously, because uh, obviously, I have another free platform that's coming out that I'd rather be playing because it looks much better. Um, I think you mean another game. Sonic Forces is on the. Screen. Yeah, but that's the thing, Joe. But remember, despite you said another platform. Another platformer. Sorry, in that platformer. case, I'm in, I'm in platformer. The point oh. is, the point is, uh, not, the point is, I'm definitely I'm getting a switch for Odyssey. Not get, and I can just play Sonic Forces on well, PS4. Well, Sonic Forces is on all so many systems. Anyway. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. Getting, I mean, getting a switch just for Forces. No, no, no. No, no. point in really doing that. I True, anyway. but that's the thing, Jova. Considering my considering I'm not rich, obviously, in, but if I have to choose between Forces and Odyssey, it's a very easy choice for me. I'll say that. Yeah, I don't blame you. I I feel the same way. Anyway, I'll probably I might get. Uh, I've never really gotten. All right, let's. Fit, we're already dragging more. this way more than it needs to. Point is, Sega gets your get your fucking shit together because at this point, it's just ridiculous. You're f grow some fucking balls and sit up I'm, I'm not asking for much just i'm just simply asking that you grow some balls and believe in your fucking series thank you can i say one last thing it's a quick thing go ahead it doesn't really require sure. any i'm done go ahead i'm pretty sure um i'm pretty sure um most of you will agree with me anyway and i've said this to pedro i don't think i've ever said this out i don't think i've ever said this in any kind of commentary but going back to what you were saying about, you know, just ha like you've had enough of all this nonsense. I mean, I used to just be angry with Sega, but being able to learn about the way they work over the past few years, it just made me feel more sorry for them. And it actually hurts me to say this as somebody who's been a Sonic fan since 2004, you know, but I've, this has been a pretty big part of my life. And it does hurt me to say this, but honestly, like if they keep going this way, It'll just be easier on them and us if they just scrap the franchise. Well, I would rather that than them keep doing this. I would agree Honestly, with you sure. if right, it wasn't Sonic for Mania. Franchise. Also, sure, right, the Sonic franchise, even without Mania, no, the Sonic franchise is not in that bad a situation. Well, then at well, least give then at least give the franchise to somebody who cares. Because remember, Christian Whitehead has nothing to do with Sega. Like get pass the franchise off to someone else then. I won't argue there, however, I will say Lost World by no means was a sign of them needing to give, give up Sonic. Again, Lost World was, it, I mean, heck, even Jim Sterling said himself that Lost World, all experimental, did have some promise for our potential gameplay. Honestly, when people say that Lost World is a terrible, horrible game, <coughs> game spot, they're really, really, really okay. Like, seriously, it's not even really Dark Age worthy. That thing got mixed to positive reviews, not mixed to negative even. 
Like, again, no, I will say this. I won't argue against them maybe giving it to someone who can get the job done and isn't afraid of the critics nearly as much. But, yeah. Either way, I will say that I still have faith that they can pull it off here and there. What they need to do is stop relying on the crutches is what they need to do. Yep. They, 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 they very well... I mean, seriously, they are, like, right on top of the gold line. The only thing keeping them back is again. And their crutches. Yes, it's guaranteed reviewer success, but that doesn't guarantee the success in general. It's like, I'm not really mad at them, and I'm not completely disappointed with them, but I'm worried for them. Because, well, okay, people talk about, oh, it's an abusive relationship with the fans, but no. I'd say it's more so an abusive relationship with Sega and critics. Like, they're going, oh, but don't you just dance? We can get them to change if we just do this or that. It's like, Sega... All oh, right, I actually forgot. Be, be, I actually forgot to say something about that. Be the that has the balls to walk out the door and say, uh, 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 "I'm done with you." To the reviewers. Yeah, I agree with you. But l- let me just say quickly something, Joe, because I actually forgot to say that myself. Uh, another thing about say, uh, I'll say to Sega. By the way, in when in terms of the the critics hating on you and stuff like that, not from, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that the critics are are not without blame. But you didn't. But but you kind of caused the situation yourself. If you had decided, if if you if from the beginning of Adventure One, it, uh, uh, I hate fucking Yuji Naka at this point. If Yuji Naka was a competent producer at the at the time and actually bothered to keep the franchise consistent, then we wouldn't be in this uh, situation. And uh, uh, so Sega, uh, Yuji Naka, and by extension Sega kind of brought the situation to themselves as well the, the critic don't get me wrong the critics are not without blame obviously but it's not like Sega. uh tr- but it's but Sega who's really okay, okay, planted yeah, the yeah. seeds for this okay you know what i'm gonna be that guy but the reason why critics always take a dump on all six and whatnot is just so they can annoy us and we fall for it and we keep giving them the attention that's pretty much it. And the sooner people realize this, the better we, the actually, better we can move on. I actually didn't. The, uh, I, I've, I've known to ignore them in regards no, to not, Sonic well, for a long time. Them. The only time I've ever given them that attention was with that, you know, that thing, that one video that genuinely annoyed me to no end. It yeah, made me angry. Oh, honestly, you know Shiroi, honestly, Shiroi, everybody uh, disliked that video. Even so, people, people who don't care for Sonic saw for the bullshit in that, honestly. That video was so blatantly clickbait that... But the IGN one where yeah. they couldn't even remember the fact that Emerald Hill is not Green Hill Zone! All right, hey, yeah, it's yeah, a com- yeah. That's a common mistake. I'm no, not... Deji. No, 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 Deji. 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 I'm gonna Deji. contest that, Deji. It, they're presenting themselves as experts, d- and they can't even get uh, some of the finer details uh, right. Like, uh, uh, so no, it, it's like Vigilant Christian talking about how da- Daffy Duck is satanic, even though his picture is showing Donald Duck. Like, <laughs> let me put it like this, Deji. That video was so bad that that actually got a lot of people outside the fan base to wise up to the fact that critics are kind of full of BS. Which is sort of a shame because now that that video happened, this would be the perfect time for Sega to actually work off of that. Exactly. Like, seriously, you have the right time to pour salt into the wound. Anyway, uh, go ahead, Jova, finish your thoughts, because this video has already gotten on long enough. Oh, I'm more positive than negative, but I will respect the fact that this is sadly a continuance of them dissing out the multiple playable characters. However, everything else, gameplay does look promising still. Graphics look good. Story seems promising. The character creation is fine, so... Okay, if this game does good, and it very well could sell well, amazing even, good. But I do hope that they learn to take the right things that this game does right as opposed to everything. All right. And basically, that's what I gotta say. I'm positive about this game. But I'm not without my worries. Well, it wouldn't be you if you weren't the positive one. You're the the Becky of our group. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm the guy that likes to look on both sides of the spectrum. But basically, Jova, there's this uh, group out there on YouTube, Video Games Awesome, and Becky, uh, she's kind of the positive of the group, uh, the positive one on the group. Yeah. So, uh, well, well, okay, like Deji, I'm more the guy who likes to look on both ends, but I just tend to be more positive often. I like to look on both ends and understand them to their nth degree. Sure. All right, you then. Done. All right then. All right, everybody, that was our Sonic Forces discussion. What are your thoughts on Sonic Forces? What do you think? Do you agree with us? Do you disagree with us? Who do you disagree with and why? Um, be sure to post in the comments. Why not? Uh, might as well. And, um, yeah, that's about it. Look forward to our E3 commentaries. Uh, Yay, we'll, I'm looking we'll, forward we'll, to that. We'll probably discuss a bit more on Forces, depending on what gets revealed. Dep my, my, we might do it, we might not do it. Depends on if it's actually worth making a video about. Um, so I guess we'll just have to wait on that. See you at A3, everybody. See ya. See ya. Uh, see ya.